Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jessica. So I've been working on a few different videos because I've been getting a lot of information and trying to sort them all out, all of them being connected obviously. But then I was interrupted the other day by Abraham who wanted me to get this video out first, talking more about the quote event that is in people's awareness as something possibly happening this month of October. But again, don't take any timeline that I offer or even what anybody else offers as this sort of be all end all timeline because it's very up in the air and timelines are always changing based upon the energy of the collective at any given moment. So I'll begin reading the channel transmission right now. So Abraham starts off by saying that the quote event has been spoken about in groups in your collective for quite some time now. The open energy of the event energy is an upgrade event in which frequencies and energies in your physical body will be affected through an intense energy light wave. The open energy of the event energy was necessary for some time in order to activate the next level in your ascension process. It was anticipated that when the open energy of the event energy would arrive on earth, that more people would be prepared and ready to receive this energy. But what many collectives not on your physical earth plane have found is that many people still are not ready to receive the high frequency light wave that you would refer to as the energetic upgrade of the quote event. The timeline was set for October of this year. In many people who are ready, they will receive an energetic upgrade which will help to push them through to the next stage in their ascension process. All will be affected in one way or another when the light wave of energy arrives, but not all will be aware of it. The next stage in the ascension process that the open energy event will activate is the retrieval and integration of inner lost knowledge. This energy upgrade will help many who are ready to receive their inner lost knowledge to begin to access it. Accessing your inner lost knowledge is necessary in the next stage of creating New Earth 5D. Joined hearts and minds in the energy of New Earth 5D together helps to create New Earth 5D reality. There is more ascension energy on the planet, but for some, the energy is losing steam in hearts and minds of people in regards to ascension and New Earth because people want to love instant manifestation open in air right now, and when it does not happen, energy in hearts and minds of people loses steam on earth in waves. Knowledge of reality of new earth and instant manifestation is very much still real, but in manifesting new earth 5D in your physical lives, knowledge of instant manifestation does not apply. Open energy of creation applies, which loses steam when the open energy of people who are the creators of new earth 5D open more towards impatience and premature knowledge of instant manifestation integrating new earth in a flash of light. So this means that people want instant manifestation when it comes to new earth, and they've been growing impatient, waiting for something to happen, and when nothing significant happens that they know of or that they can see in front of their eyes, they lose steam of the energy needed to create new earth, and they don't realize that they are part of the creators of new earth. So when they lose that steam of energy, they're losing that steam of creating the new earth. Abraham goes on to say, instant manifestation works for those who are already aligned to new earth 5D, and they can instantly manifest central visions of new earth in the reality of their illusion or their belief. But for those still very much hoping and praying for new earth outside of them instead of within them, they are met only with disappointment in delivering pointed new earth 5D in their reality. Find new earth 5D within, and you will not only be able to find new earth outside of you, but lost knowledge inside of you as well. Lost knowledge is not able to come to the surface as long as you are searching for new earth outside of you. 
In searching inside of your heart and mind, lost knowledge is able to flow to you and open new earth awareness inside and outside of you. In searching inside of your heart and mind, lost knowledge is able to flow to you and open new earth awareness inside and outside of you. So I went on to ask, you know, so what happened to this energy of the quote event? Did something shift from that original expectation? And if so, what what shifted? What happened? And what came through was that energy event is still happening, but not for everyone. Only those who exist in New Earth 5D illusion of oneness and love will experience the event. Low vibrational people are not yet ready for the very strong energy of New Earth 5D. Lost knowledge opening in those yearning for lost knowledge, not in those who do not yearn for New Earth. Finding open energy in October will knowingly help the people who are open to receiving lost knowledge and new earth 5D energy in their hearts and minds. Again, don't take the whole timeline of October too seriously. Take it with a grain of salt. So I then asked, what happens to the low vibrational people when the event happens for others? And what came through was that low vibrational people will, quote, isolate in a way in their strong minds of knowledge of inner duality. Very many people will integrate open energy of siloed energy, lost in mind for a moment. And this made me think of a recent video that I watched from Amanda Scherzer. Amanda did her own hypnosis to view what she would experience during the event. And she talked about how she saw some of her family members as, quote, frozen or suspended in animation somehow. So I asked Abraham, do you mean that these low vibrational people would be frozen or suspended in some way? And what came through was yes frozen in a moment in time, joined with their mind of duality, not oneness and love. They will be suspended in motion. They will not know what in the world is happening or will not even remember the suspended animation they had experienced. I then asked, will these low vibrational people be taken to ships, like um, extraterrestrial ships? Because this idea had actually come through client QHHT sessions often saying that when this strong energy of the event happens on Earth, those who cannot handle the strong energy will be taken up to ships. I don't know, but that's what came through. So I kind of thought I'd throw that out there as a question. And what came through was no, they will not be taken to ships. They did say that it was discussed at one time that those who were unable to hold the energy of love and oneness and light of new earth energy upgrade, meaning the event, would be taken to the galactic star family ships. But they said in thinking it over, gigantic ships would not be able to hold the energy required to hold mass amounts of lower vibrational people. They said that low vibrational people would actually harm the high frequency of not so low in vibration ships. It's not a vibrational match, meaning these high vibrational ships, these high frequency ships are not a vibrational match to the low vibrational people that they would have to hold when this event energy took place on earth. I then asked, what happens to the family members of people who are on an ascension path? And what came through was that family members will experience the event in one way or another. Not everyone will experience it in the same way. For those who are more awake and aware of New Earth shift process, they may experience a gilded white light stillness, not frozen, but not when moving, just stillness. They will be slightly hindered after because they will not know what the pointed stillness was. So here they kind of added in what our experience would be for those of us who are more awake and aware in raising our frequency. And so I went on a slight tangent asking, will the person experience only light or whiteness or will they be able to see around them? And what came through was that it would be open to interpretation. Integration of upgrade energy will be open to interpretation in viewing light or surroundings, but the feeling of stillness will be there strongly. 
Meaning, again, we're all going to experience it individually, whatever we're going to experience, whether we see the light or the whiteness or see our surroundings, it's all going to be different, but there's going to be that unique, unifying feeling of energy of just stillness. And this also aligns to what Amanda Scherzer said in her video in regards of what she experienced in her hypnosis about the event, and she saw just this bright white space. Abraham then went on to talk more about um, my question about family members. Basically, what came through was that only the family members who are already centered in love and the illusion or the belief of oneness will definitely experience the open energy of the event as well. So your family members are joined together as lost knowledge holders of what we've talked about in previous videos. So they're going to be affected by the oneness and love open energy of the event regardless. But the members who are of lower vibration will not necessarily physically experience the event or remember it, but they will integrate the energy because they are joined in the lost knowledge holder team. If you want more information about this whole lost knowledge holder teams or lost knowledge, um, go watch my previous videos. I have three parts so far as of yet. It's called Inner Lost Knowledge, um, part one, part two, part three, and I'll put the links to those videos below as well. I then went on to ask Abraham, will people in suspended motion integrate any of this energy upgrade of the event? And what came through was yes, but they will not experience the event firsthand. Premature, very not ready people will not experience the event because they are not ready for it. For them, it will seem as if nothing happened, just merely another day in lives as people on earth, centered around the sun, definitely not noticing anything. Knowledge of this will help others who may experience the event to include inner adjustments for family members. They will be in a state of suspension, in love and oneness suspension. So this is good to know if you are experiencing the event, that people may be in this weird suspended state, but they're okay and they're in it in love and oneness suspension. It's nothing to be alarmed or scared about. Um, they're being taken care of and they're experiencing the event from where they are vibrationally. And if they do happen to be in that lower vibrational state, they have to kind of be put into this suspended animation or this like sort of frozen state for them to be able to integrate the energy because that this energy upgrade of the quote event is expected in a way to be very strong energy in order for um, us to kind of get to that next step in the ascension process. My next question was for how long will this energy event last for? And what came through was that it will seem only like moments, but will be for longer. Abe is sensing one day in love and integration of open energy in joined hearts and minds of people. So not sure how long it's going to last, but it's going to seem only like moments. And I guess when we get out of it, it's we're going to realize that it was a lot longer. My next question was, why is the information different now than the information that you provided months before? So in terms of this whole event, I did receive information months ago. Um, and, and then receiving this information today, it's slightly different. So I wanted to know why is it different? And what came through was that the information is different because lost people of earth keep changing the timeline. Integrated timeline changes in open energy of collective. Knowledge of the event has changed in some people, like we mentioned before, in terms of energy of ascension losing steam in some people, um, joined with knowledge of information about integrated change in institutions around the planet in your collective conscious. Knowledge of many things has the opportunity to change integration of not only the timeline, but integration of new earth shift, hindering very much the shift into new earth 5D in your collective ascension process. 
I had a commenter who wrote recently um, on another video, and they wrote that Edgar Cayce stated in his readings that even the creative forces do not know the outcome on earth until a decision is made by us, which causes action on our part to take place. Kind of like the forecast track of a hurricane gets more and more accurate as it gets closer. And that whole hurricane analogy is perfect in terms of prediction. So thank you so much to the commenter Terry who left that piece of information and insight which definitely helps to grasp this better idea of why timelines, energy, and predictions change. Also, um, mentioning Yara of Random Acts of Kindness's video again, I put her link or I put the link to her video below. She also talks about the whole timelines and why the event energy keeps shifting timelines as well. So you might want to check that video out as well. Um, so my next question to Abraham was, you know, just throwing it out there, why can't you just move ahead in our collective timeline and tell us what happens, when, where, why, how? Basically, this is a timeline question, but I was asking them, why can't you just give us the answers of when things are happening and why and how? And what they said was, yes, we can, but it is not about moving forward in your collective timeline because there are many timelines in which the collective can go, not just one timeline. In integrating multiple timelines, we can only make estimations yearning for the highest timeline in the collective at any given moment. But just as quickly as moments shift, so can the highest timeline of your collective. So even with the information that we present today, it can shift in the coming days ahead before the open energy of the event if enough shift in the collective mind integrates in love and oneness can happen. Love and oneness energy has the ability to move mountains in the finishing stages of anything, which is why integrating love and oneness frequency is the most important information Abe integrates with every message. Not knowing love and oneness in your heart and mind integrates more mountains and makes it harder to move knowledge of integration of love and oneness frequency. Integrating love and oneness frequency will help to move mountains and join reality of lost gilded premature souls with joined gilded knowing souls in New Earth 5D. Following the event open energy of love and oneness, the timelines will begin to merge into one timeline, the absolutely gilded New Earth timeline. Defining New Earth 5D Timeline is the gilded timeline collapse of 3D timelines, surrounding fear, integrated with anger, hurt, duality, and finally joined hearts, not in joy and happiness, but in hopelessness and poverty consciousness. Knowledge of defining traumatic and painful events in your collective's history has lowered timelines on your planet into very dark, mostly dark timelines of hate, separation, and fear in the minds of people on Earth. In the process of collective ascension, you open a joined mind of open love and oneness, sending the lower timelines not into separation, but integrated into the soup they go to be transformed into new open energy of oneness and love energy in the collective one mind. So here they're referring to the New Earth, quote, soup of oneness that they spoke about in one of my previous videos called Inner Lost Knowledge Part 3, Retrieving Lost Knowledge and Taking Your Family With You to New Earth. So basically, they refer to New Earth as this soup because, of course, they love their analogies and it helps us to really kind of picture what they're talking about a little bit better. So in this previous video where they referenced the soup analogy, they spoke about bad lost knowledge as well as good lost knowledge and how both are very valuable. So when they talk about bad and good lost knowledge, they're meaning or they're talking about lost knowledge either centered around love and oneness or lost knowledge centered around not love and not oneness. But either way, both are valuable. So in that previous video, as a recap to talk about this soup, they said that um, 
Not all lost knowledge will be good to uncover, but needs to be uncovered in order to heat lost knowledge on the stove with certain many solidifying ingredients. Ability to sift and sort lost knowledge will be crucial. Taking oneness and love lost knowledge ingredients makes for a delicious 5D New Earth soup. Learning definitely about lost knowledge also opens lost past lives from not oneness. Learning from past mistakes is necessary in order to not mess up the delicious soup. Included in the soup is bad lost knowledge because it allows you the joining of bad lost knowledge with the good lost knowledge for ultimate expansion. Into the soup the bad lost knowledge goes, but soup is so delicious it automatically transforms the bad into home tasting deliciousness soup. Joining soup is all lost knowledge, good and bad, but all the bad is transformed into good once it integrates into New Earth knowledge holders' awareness because they can easily see and understand the purpose behind the bad past and very much transmute gilded bad knowledge into ways that it can help make society better and more knowing that all is truly well. So what Abe is saying in regards to the timelines is that you can look at the merging of the timelines the same way in which they describe this soup of lost knowledge. So the timelines are merging into a higher new earth timeline, and even the lower or the darker timelines are merged into the soup. But what happens to these lower or darker timelines is that the duality and the lower frequency energies are transmuted and transformed as they integrate with higher frequency energy and higher timelines. So again, they said that in the process of collective ascension, you open a joined mind of open love and oneness, sending the lower timelines not into separation, but integrated into the soup they go to be transformed into new open energy of oneness and love energy in the collective one mind. They go on to say that we will speak more of the collective mind of oneness and love in another transmission. In this joined mind of love and oneness, absolute one mind between illusion or the belief of reality of knowledge of new earth and the illusion or belief of reality of knowledge of 3D earth are joined together in a soup made of lost knowledge, open for the taking and integration. Open not for competition, but for joining hearts and minds together to create New Earth 5D reality of oneness and love, not on the backs of those seen as less than others, but in the eyes of New Earth people, New Earth is built and created with everyone joined together in their hearts and minds. I then went on to ask, is there anything else we need to know about the event energy in October or whenever it comes? And what came through was yes, joining energy of love and oneness will be energy of source, hindered not in the minds and hearts of those on your planet, meaning the energy of source will not be hindered in the minds and hearts of people on the planet during this integration of open energy of the quote event. They said that the overwhelming love you will feel is premature love from source love, not from lost family or loved ones on the other side, but from source itself. Love for you sent directly from source so that you would get a taste of knowing what true love from source feels like, not hindered by any religion or person telling you what God or source is. Talk of God or source is so far from what God or source truly is, and in your ability to ascend into a higher dimension, it is more so required that you understand exactly what true God or true source is so that you can move forward without knowledge that is not supposedly true or false about God or source or whatever you choose to describe this overwhelming, indescribable, so defining, 
joined not in separation, but in complete balance and joined in love and oneness, which is source the creator, in which loves you more than anything in the lost universe, including life itself, because you are entirely integrated with source and source is you. Integrating source is not lost inside of you or outside of you. It is joined with you in every way you can possibly imagine and know to be true. We also want to talk about how not love, but lust can blind you to knowing true love from source. Love has a downfall, which is lust. In feeling of love, there is integrated lust, gilded lust. Opening heart to loving without lusting and the knowledge of inner love without low vibration of lust hones your energy of love and oneness frequency joined with your illusion of lost knowledge retrieval defining your new earth 5D experience and reality. Not defining your 5D new earth experience is lust for things and people and integration of not love in your experience. In knowledge of love and lust, you are able to choose love over lust. Strengthening love and oneness and joining hearts and minds in love and oneness as well. Lost knowledge will then begin to flow and integrate not with lost knowledge holder, but with the entire collective one mind as well. Lost knowledge is then able to help build and create new earth 5D. Lost knowledge joined in hearts and minds are able to integrate strongly in hearts and minds of people to integrate New Earth 5D. I asked, what is the difference between love and lust? And what came through was that love is in the heart and lust is in the mind. Opening heart in knowing that all is truly well integrates love in your heart. When lost in knowing that all is truly well, meaning when you don't have that feeling that all is truly well, it opens the mind to lusting over things in order to hold on to higher frequency energy. Joined with lust is fear of letting go of things that are out of your control. Love accepts all things as one and the same, integrated with oneness. Lust is integrated in fear and duality. I then asked, is there anything else you would like to talk about? And they said, yes, they have a lot of things to talk about. Um, but next they want to talk about hindered people. They said, in knowledge of event on open planet, energy of open planet, Abe is sensing many lost souls or hindered people who are not happy with souls who are able to ascend and integrate not better, but higher frequency energy. Not happy indeed. Opens energy of intense open energy of duality on the planet for those light workers and light holders. In the energy of duality, as a last ditch effort to integrate more stronger energy of duality and fear in hearts, not love and oneness, more so to knock love and oneness out of heart based people. For as long as you exist with multiple timelines and 5D and 3D next to each other, or rather coexisting next to each other, there will be the push and pull between both sides of the coin or the stick, even if one side of love and oneness is technically winning. The other side is still existing, and in still existing, no matter how little or small in strength and size, will do what it can to hold on to existence in the world and integrate stronger energy in people in duality consciousness. They go on to say that this is nothing to fear, but a reminder to stand very strong and true to what you believe in. Know that the light opens up dark places. In the shadows, it was easy to hide, but in the light, it is much brighter. In open energy of love and oneness, an integrated open energy of love and oneness, strength in the light keeps you strong in spirit and more so strong in heart and mind. I then asked, what do you sense happening with these hindered people or the lost souls? And what came through was that we sense 
mostly more people integrating open energy of joined hearts in love and oneness, but still some people integrates open energy of fear in hearts and integrates very much lower vibrational energy in hearts and minds. As the split between 5D and 3D becomes more and more realized in people, you eventually will definitely sense the split in 3D and 5D energy. In the split between 5D and 3D, loaded energy of 3D definitely will become greater. Lost souls will integrate energy of only 3D. There will be no gray area. You will integrate either 3D or 5D. Energy joining hearts in love and oneness will lift you into 5D new earth energy and awareness, which will definitely not be the reality of 5D, but will be the elevator ride up to 5D new earth. The journey to New Earth 5D reality is not easily integrated. Open energy of oneness and love needs to be fully integrated and the journey helps you to do so. Knowing that all is truly well on the journey opens you up to higher and higher levels on your escalator or elevator journey up into New Earth 5D reality. In knowing this, have patience and trust in the journey, knowing that all is truly well. Your human mind will seek instant manifestation of New Earth 5D in a flash of light, but it is not that easy. You are working with energy of creation, and in open energy of creation, you are integrating love and oneness energy to help final New Earth 5D creation to be built. Opening mind and hearts to hindrances in 3D integrates forgiveness and joins hearts in compassion and love, and in doing so, you definitely lift higher as you release the weight of the 3D hindrances holding you down. In releasing dead weight of 3D hindrances, very much so, you finally not only integrate 5D gilded energy, but love and oneness energy as well, lifting you further into open reality of New Earth 5D. I then asked, can you tell me what happens to us after the event energy takes place? And what came through was that... After event energy rolls through, in knowing that all will be affected in one way or another, in open energy of joining hearts strengthened by love and oneness from source, you will all definitely not only be affected, but gilded lost knowledge will be able to flow into your awareness from the unconscious parts of your mind, not the conscious. Not aware of the knowledge you hold, lost knowledge will surprise many of you to know finally what important knowledge you hold in the deepest parts of your mind and heart. Knowledge retrieval will be gone, and knowledge integration will become your new pastime. Loads of new knowledge in the awareness of individuals who are able to integrate open energy of event and in lost knowledge now found will be blueprints on reality of New Earth 5D and how to create it in your hearts and minds contributing to the vortex of massive creation of New Earth 5D reality. Another reason why Abraham taught gilded manifestation with Esther in your lifetime was to teach you the power of your thoughts in creating your reality, but more so when the time came, opening your knowledge of creating your reality we taught from before and finally creating together a final world on your gilded planet. You are very much open to creating new earth world on your current planet as you first create in your vortex of creation first and then pull it into your reality. First co-creating your new earth 5D through love and oneness like a layered cake. First layer is the base layer and you must remember that the base needs to be the strongest in order to hold the whole cake. The first layer is the integration of oneness and love frequency in not only your hearts and minds, but as the first layer in your vortex of creation of New Earth 5D. You are creating your vortex simultaneously next to where you are energetically. So as you place the base layer of love and oneness in your vortex of creation of New Earth 5D, you are also integrating that energy into your life, 
where you are energetically. This vortex of creation of New Earth 5D exists in the one mind, quote, future of one mind, New Earth reality existence. Those of you who are aware of New Earth 5D and have been working to raise your frequency and vibration to meet New Earth 5D where you are, you are tapping into that one mind frequency or vortex of creation of New Earth 5D in order to help co-create it. It exists in no space and no time, which is also why many of you on your ascension path have integrated no space and no time awareness. You are aligning to the no space and no time of New Earth 5D. So here is when I received a vision download and the channeling went further into this whole creation process versus instant manifestation. But basically we're putting layers on the cake in the vortex of creation of New Earth 5D. So the open energy of the upcoming event is an upgrade of energy. And for those of us who have been working on our ascension shift and raising our frequency, the event open energy will basically give us this boost of energy to put that next layer of the cake down, which involves bringing forward lost knowledge, which is also why Abraham has been talking so much about retrieving lost knowledge so that we can be ready for it when this boost of energy from the, the quote event or energy upgrade happens within us. Because it was told to me that in the lost knowledge that we hold as individuals and ultimately as a collective is actually the blueprints of creating New Earth 5D. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Abraham Hicks' teachings through Esther Hicks, basically in the chapter with Esther, Abraham speaks about creating your own reality, how thoughts become things, etc., etc. They speak about this very important topic called the vortex, in which all of your desires and dreams and wants are in the non-physical and that you create in this non-physical space. And what you have to do is align your energy to the energy of what you want, um, align your energy in the physical to the energy in the non-physical in order to rendezvous or pull your desires and wants into your physical reality. So this is about you aligning to what you want. This, along with a few other things that Abraham Hicks teaches, is basically what that process of creating your reality is. So now Abraham, in this journey with me, um, what they told me is that they're basically bringing that idea of creating your own reality, um, creating in that vortex space that you were taught with Esther, but this time coming together as ascended beings um, with ascended consciousness to access this new earth 5D vortex in order to create the new earth in the non-physical first. So those of us who have raised our frequency to be able to access this new earth 5D vortex will be co-creating the new earth 5D first through this non-physical vortex and then pulling it into our reality. And as more and more people meet us in this ascended high frequency plane of space or existence or that vortex, more and more people will help in co-creating and contributing to new earth manifestation, first in creating it in the non-physical vortex again, and then in actually aligning and manifesting and bringing it into our physical reality. And I'm going to put a link to an explanation of what the vortex is, if you're unfamiliar with the whole concept of it, as channeled by Abraham Hicks through Esther Hicks. I'll put a link to that video below. Abraham goes on to say that people want instant manifestation of New Earth 5D, but guess what? You are still creating it. So if you want instant manifestation of New Earth 5D, you'll be there and there won't be a whole lot there with you. New Earth 5D is a co-creative experience and a co-creation between the unified or joined minds and hearts of the ascended people on your planet. This is part of the ascension process, is that co-creation of New Earth 5D reality. 
This is an exciting time on your earth planet, and you were brought forward as powerful creators. We have taught you through Esther Hicks how to manifest your own reality, how to create your reality. Ask and it is given, bringing all of your desires from your vortex into your physical, see it, touch it, taste it, smell it, hear it, physical, tangible reality. Now is a time for your ultimate creation and co-creation with your fellow ascended beings of New Earth 5D. The vortex of New Earth 5D is open and ready to be created first in the non-physical, and the playground of New Earth 5D creation is yours for the taking. New Earth 5D is already here. There's already people who are existing energetically and vibrationally in New Earth 5D. It also exists in this non-physical vibrational vortex, and it also exists in the physical somewhere that we can align to for sure, but the layers to that New Earth 5D reality, such as, you know, the new institutions, the new societies, the new technologies, the new communities, they're not there yet. And this is that creation process that we're in right now. And as these new ideas and concepts and technologies come into our awareness through our inner lost knowledge retrieval, as well as joining our hearts and minds together, we become more aware on an individual level and on a collective level. And it's through that awareness that we can then begin putting things into our vortex of creation of New Earth 5D. You know, all the things that we want in this New Earth, we can then put into the vortex in which we can then align to that vibrational match of the vortex and pull it into our physical realities to see it, touch it, taste it, hear it, experience it, New Earth 5D reality in the physical. And again, this is why Abraham is stressing so much about the importance of inner lost knowledge retrieval. And thankfully, I guess it should become a little bit easier to do so after this energy upgrade of the event or after more and more energy upgrades in the near future. Because if it wasn't for our inner lost knowledge that we hold in our soul's memory, we really wouldn't know what to put into our vortex of New Earth 5D. We wouldn't know how to build it and create it. So as we retrieve inner lost knowledge, we're also building New Earth in the vortex. Abraham goes on to say that Abe is in New Earth 5D now, and from where we are in the vortex, we sense only love and oneness, absolute love and oneness. This is in your vortex of New Earth 5D right now due to the offshoots of wanting more absolute love and oneness in response to the contrast of duality, fear, hate, separation, and poverty consciousness that is on your planet right now. In wanting more love and oneness due to not love and not oneness in your current reality, the vortex of New Earth 5D was created. One open vortex for all people on New Earth 5D. In your creation of New Earth 5D, you are co-creating with the entire population of New Earth 5Ders in heart-based, love, and oneness-based into the soup it goes knowledge. Open lost knowledge, now found, very much lost knowledge will be found, and in finding lost knowledge, you are elements of co-creating New Earth 5D at its finest. Open vortex of 5D New Earth is now. In aligning to your 5D selves, you are instantly taken or rather swept into the vortex of New Earth 5D in strong force of desire. And in knowledge of love and oneness, you instantly gain lost knowledge in hearts and minds of energy of your inner self. And your lost knowledge, now found, will help to build the next layer on the cake of New Earth 5D reality. Remember that you, in your ascension process, are very much on the leading edge of creation. You are energetically going where no one has gone before on your planet. Journey to New Earth 5D is in process, but you have to create it very much together in love and oneness. You are creating New Earth 5D together. 
And then I was shown that as we build the layers of the cake of New Earth 5D in the vortex of creation, in that non-physical vibrational vortex, we will begin to rise up and experience those same manifestations in our current world as we begin to shift and become more and more of a vibrational match to our New Earth 5D vortex of co-creation together. So instant manifestation does not occur in wanting the entire cake built right here, right now, all at once, because we're still in that co-creation process of putting things into our vortex of New Earth creation. And Abe is actually reminding me now of one thing that Esther and Abraham Hicks said in terms of having all the meals all at once, that it's not the ideal unfolding of your manifestation. You have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and people are wanting that instant gratification, that instant manifestation of everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all at the same time. So it's about allowing the manifestation of New Earth 5D to unfold as it is supposed to and, and unfold as it's meant to and enjoying the journey along the way knowing that all is truly well and abraham is also bringing to my attention that other thing that um abraham hicks esther hicks talks about in terms of like traveling to a location it's like you go from point a to point b and if you're at point a and you already know that you're going to come back to point a in the end at the end of your journey or your vacation or whatever um, why would you go to point B in the first place knowing that you just returned to point A? Because it's about the journey. So this is still a journey of creation in terms of creating New Earth 5D, if that makes sense. I know I didn't do it justice with the whole point A, point B thing, but I'm sure you can look that up on YouTube. And also from what I was shown um, in the vortex of creating New Earth 5D, we only really have... The, that first layer down, the base foundation layer, which is of love and oneness frequency, realizing and integrating that love and oneness frequency into your beingness. This is basically where we're at, and we have so much more, so many more layers to go to build New Earth 5D. So the next layer will actually be that retrieval process or that retrieving of lost knowledge and the integration of lost knowledge, not only in our beingness as an individual, but in our societies and ideas of how to make essentially the world a better place to live and shifting out of 3D institutions and into 5D institutions. So there are a few more layers more to be built in this cake. So we're still very much in the beginning of this creation process. And we have to remember that this is that creation energy that we're working with, which is also paired with manifestation, not instant manifestation of having everything all at once, but this is a journey of creation. And I know that was a lot of information. I hope that it was um, easy to understand. Um, but I got like a flood of information regarding like the manifestation of New Earth 5D um, in terms of kind of tying back to the whole vortex of creation from Abraham Hicks through Esther Hicks and how we are creating using those same concepts, but creating on a larger scale. We're creating the New Earth 5D. So in regards to the event, Abe uh, wants to explain that yes, October is a high target for many to integrate this upgrade energy of the event, but not all will integrate at this time. They're offering me this timeline for my own energetic alignment from where I am because they're connected to me when channeling, but people will integrate this higher upgrade energy in waves. They said that with most integrating this upgrade energy in October, but few not integrating it as much at this time and maybe integrating it later or at a later time. They said that it depends on where you are energetically, and this also goes for what you're going to be experiencing after the event. So everything's based upon where you are energetically. So it's like, although most will integrate this upgrade energy, some might still not be able to access their inner lost knowledge, um, but maybe they're integrating a higher level in their own energetic ascension awareness in their own way. But regardless, they're going to take a step up from where they are. And for others, they may be able to finally access their inner lost knowledge because they've been working on that stage for a while now and it's their next step. 
So again, it all depends on where you are in your stage of ascension and you will experience this energy upgrade in your own way, depending on where you are energetically. And um, I wanted to make a quick note in terms of physical changes and if the event energy would offer any sort of physical changes to our bodies. I asked about DNA, cellular makeup changes, and all of that in regards to the event energy. And what came through was that Abe spoke about some of that in the Inner Lost Knowledge series, part one, two, and three. Um, these are my some of my past videos in terms of your cellular makeup changing and your DNA activating as you bring forward your lost knowledge. It's part of that process. It's part of the ascension process. So those are good videos to watch after this one if you haven't yet already, and I'll post those links below as well. Um, I did receive some information about the integration of light bodies that I'm going to create another video for. I still know that there's more information to tap into regarding that topic, so I'm waiting until all of that comes together in order to create that video. And this is usually kind of how this process works is I get the topic, you know, I get some channeled information, I get some visions, and then like over the course of a few days, like more information comes to me or like people will recommend videos or I'll see articles like things it comes together in its own way over the course of a few days or a week um, once I get the topic that Abe wants to talk about so we'll see whenever that video comes together and I'm going to stop here because this video is getting really really long and because the messages can keep going on and on and everything is connected to each other I'm working like I said on a few other videos that's probably going to integrate more of these messages and finally, Abe wants you to know that there's nothing you need to do to prepare, nothing you need to do at all. Just know that all is truly well. Hold that energy of knowing that all is truly well, no matter where you are on your journey and path of ascension. Thank you so much for watching this video. Abraham and Jessica leave you in oneness and love. Until next time.